The deputy prime ministers of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia, who are heading the delegations of a working group set up to unblock regional communications, have met on August 17th in Moscow after negotiations came to a halt due to tensions on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border. On January 11, 2021, after a meeting of the Armenian Prime Minister and the Presidents of Azerbaijan and Russia, a trilateral statement between the three leaders set up a working group to unblock regional communications. Azerbaijan is seeking to establish a route between the exclave of Nakhijevan and the Azerbaijani-controlled parts of Karabakh through the southern Armenian region of Sunik. Armenia is seeking to create two routes, one through Nakhijevan to Iran and another through Azerbaijan to Russia. On June 1st, Deputy Prime Minister of Armenia, Meher Krikorian, announced that talks had been suspended due to the border crisis. And in today's government sitting, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan presented the government's plans for the next five years. A number of things were announced, including plans to establish a foreign intelligence service in Armenia in the next five years. On top of this, the minimum wage will be increased to $173 per month. In January, the minimum wage was raised from $112 per month to $138. According to Pashinyan, 300 schools and 500 kindergartens will be built and renovated in the next five years. Pashinyan furthermore mentioned that every third child in a family up to the age of six will receive just over $100 a month. In addition, the government plans to reduce the poverty rate by 2026 and aims to bring it below the 10% threshold. And finally, the government will aim to achieve 7% economic growth per annum by 2026. But the Armenian PM mentioned that this figure could go up to 9% if economic conditions are favorable. And at around 8.40 p.m. in Nagorno-Karabakh, due to Azerbaijani gunfire, three hectares of grassy land caught fire in the southwestern area of Artsakh. According to the Artsakh Defense Army, a fire truck went to the scene, but Azerbaijani forces opened fire on the fire truck, obstructing fire containment work and Health Minister Anahit Avanesian has announced that 200,000 doses of the Chinese Sinopharm coronavirus vaccine have arrived in Armenia. The 200,000 doses will now be available to vaccinate 100,000 people. The vaccine is available to all citizens over the age of 18. And finally, psychotherapist and author Edith Alaverdian speaks to Sivonet about the changing attitude towards mental health in the global Armenian community. She discusses intergenerational trauma and her own story, going from a young girl in Hurazdan to becoming a psychotherapist in Los Angeles.